It's day three, everybody. Now we're getting real. The first two days were warm-ups. Feel free to practice these things every once in a while, since they really help you understand 3D forms. You can even fuse all the lessons from the first week together to make it harder once you feel like you should increase the difficulty of your warm-up. And by the way, I noticed you sneaky boys and girls coming on the Discord and not even introducing yourselves. Part of that problem is me, since I never told you to do that. So now is the moment. I'll have a chat for introductions ready when this is out, where I will introduce myself and you can just follow along and write something similar. Now, without any more information dumping, let's get into drawing mode. Today's topic is perspective. One point perspective, to be precise. If you don't know what that is, here's a little summary of how it works. It's relatively simple. You just choose a point inside or outside of your canvas, and that is going to be your vanishing point. That's the point where the lines that are in perspective will always converge. To better understand it, it's like you would look at a long corridor inside of a house. If you can imagine that, then good job. You just imagine a one-point perspective scenario, where the vanishing point is in the middle of your canvas or in the middle of your field of view. The vanishing point in one-point perspective is also the indicator for the horizon line. Everything above this line will be seen from below and vice versa. Now, if you draw on digital media, feel free to use the brush in the description. It's the one I used in this drawing to make the vanishing point in no time at all. Really handy stuff. In time, you can just imagine your vanishing point, especially if it's outside of your canvas. It's good to know what you're doing and being able to imagine it without the help of all these lines. If you draw traditionally, I have bad news for you. You're gonna have to sacrifice two minutes to take out your ruler and draw the lines by hand, because the digital brush ain't gonna work. At the beginning, it's best to start out with drawing simple cubes and rectangles. You can drop in some spheres as well. They basically stay the same in any perspective. And once you got a good grasp on what you do, you can try your luck with some pyramids. That sums it up for today. We're already at a higher difficulty than yesterday, even if it's just a bit. There's an additional tiny task for tomorrow, and that is to imagine the middle point of a plane in heavy perspective. And tomorrow, I will show you how far off we think the middle is from the actual truth. Now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. And if you want to learn to draw together, join our Discord. Goodbye for now, and happy drawing.